Ah, uh, yeah, you're in the studio with the live local artist. Today we're outside enjoying this beautiful full moon. It doesn't come across real good on the, on the camera. There you get to see the shape. There she is, shrouded in mystery. And tonight we're going to focus on on that. Look at the clouds as they pass before the moon in all her majesty. Just thin veil of humidity creating an atmosphere. Look at the grays. The Prussian blue, the titanium white, some French ultramarine and a little bit of a little bit of uh, a little bit of what was that other blue? I used Prussian ultramarine and uh, cobalt. Was that cobalt? No, cerulean. Cerulean. Pardon me. Okay, so I've got a little bit of a start already here, as you can see, and I'm going to keep on painting for you here tonight. We have a low light situation going on, so you don't really get to see much much background, but here we are. I'll try to show you what I've got going on. Maybe you remember this palette from the other day. I have added a little bit of uh, medium, some titanium white. Here's my selection of blue. I've got cerulean blue. I've got some French ultramarine, and I've been using some Prussian already on there, so uh, I don't think I'm going to get... I'm not going to load up my palette with any more Prussian. But I'll work with whatever's in my brush. I had a really nice brush laid out that I wanted to use. Oh, here it is. It's about a half inch uh, angle sash. Get a good little wiggle there. I love that. Now I'm going to get a little white. And we're going to begin with the horizon. The uh, I will try to see... If I can show you the color variation between the night sky and the horizon real quick. You see how... You see the cloud bank that begins all around? And then as it rises up, it's got it's that gray. Then it gets that, that night sky, the Prussian blue, deep Prussian. And then you get back to your titanium whites and different shades of gray for the for the moon but uh, here we go getting a, a handle on things tonight it's a little chilly I'm painting in Fort Worth and uh, I'm outside as you can tell so this is a plein air painting it always is what I say. All right, here we are. Uh, let's see. So uh, we need some more color in that. We're gonna get some of this blue and some of this white and some more of this blue here. We're gonna mix that generously here. That's more of this titanium. Just mix it to the titanium. What what difference does it make? Just gonna blend all that around there. Look how it's taking over the palette. All that blue and then we have our horizon line here on the so we're going to begin you'll be able to see a little bit more i'm looking at different levels of landscape here so i'm going to start about here and push this color down well, does that work for me maybe hmm. we're going to see how this works for us here distant rooftops in the background and a sky full of clouds on a otherwise and the clouds are way up high they're high atmospheric clouds no chance of precipitation coming from those guys it's all way up high it's going to stay up there cutting in the the sky around the earth kind of fish eyeing it there's some beautiful silver clouds in the sky 
How do I get that? I know I've seen it. I've seen it in other people's paint. I need to figure it out for my own. That feeling of the night sky. Hmm. All right, let's get some, uh, some more. This white, I want to grab some umber. All right, let's do it. Umber. Umber. Looking for that umber. What do I got here? I've got, uh, no, nope, that's not on umber. That's Van Dyke Brown. Close enough. Close enough. Let's see. How's everybody doing this evening? This fine night. Mixing that umber in there. I need to, uh, maybe I went over on the umber. Whoops. Whoops, 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 whoops. I got brushes flying around and... Whew. All right, let's get some of this. Is that cloudy enough? It's looking like a cloud bank to me, baby. Yeah. Go back this way, too. It's catching moon rays. Looking for this crescent of clouds that dissipates high into the atmosphere and then just, just like, wafts off into outer space. Yeah, that light's beautiful. That's just some uh, Van Dyke Brown mixed with some titanium white and some uh, just a touch of Prussian blue. Ooh, and then uh, I need more titanium white. I'm going to step back, take a look at this painting here that we got going on. Let's see what we got going on here. How do you like that? Can you see what I'm talking about? Let's step back this way. Can you see what I'm talking about? I can see it. You like those clouds? So you can see here, of course, we have the moon. And these are clouds. Go look outside and you can see the clouds. We're looking at the same sky, ladies and gentlemen. Then this is, uh, well, this should be more clouds down here. The clouds kind of begin at the horizon and they go up and it looks here like this is yeah you know well let's see i should blend that more it doesn't feel like the clouds go all the way down they don't feel like they're going all the way down to the horizon let's get you another point of view I'm walking around my outdoor makeshift studio you can see me paint from this side of the canvas now. Does it look any different? Let's see. Mm. You gotta back up, huh? Just a little bit. Okay, I'll try and bear in mind that you're now looking at me from this point of view. Sometimes I forget and give you my backside, and I don't mean anything by it. So, oh, gotta pick up the camera here for just a second. It's tangled in that. Excuse me. Yeah, I know. Internet problems. Let's see. I want the clouds to feel like they go all the way down to the horizon. I want this to feel more like clouds. So I'm blending that color down right it's like a, a wall big thick curtain of clouds that go high into the atmosphere high altitude I keep saying high altitude it might be a little confusing as to how it's high altitude but the clouds go run all the way to the all the way to the ground well they don't run all the way to the ground they run all the way to the horizon the horizon it being prairie land out here the horizon is very very far away so it's as though the ceiling is it's a drop ceiling it's like when you're in an office and it's a drop ceiling 
going all the way across over all the cubicles. That's what it feels like. It feels like the fluorescent lighting and some telemarketing agency. You're looking over the tops of all the cubicles of your nearby friends as you try to scratch out a living on the side of a cement cliff. Yep. And now we're going to add a little bit. Where's my umber? Get some more umber in there. That's some of the residual. Ooh, that might be a little bit too much. Bling, bling, you know? Let's see. Should be a rooftop happening right in here. It's like a... The sky glows. And it begins at the ground. It's, part of it's the city lights, yeah. Part of it's our own reflection of the sun's rays off the moon. Nice. Thank you. Thanks for the compliments, folks. Really appreciate all the love you guys show. Nice. All right. I like that. Step back. Look at your painting off, and folks, that was a little bit of uh, titanium white, some Prussian blue, and some Van Dyke brown. Looking at the landscape, it's like I'm looking over a little valley of color and patches of light and dark. Tread lightly here, friends. You know, you can mess it up. I see potential here. And I feel like, uh, let's see, I feel like a little bit of uh, green and red. Hmm. Ooh, should I chill on that? I should chill. That's kind of. I can't chill. I'm chillless. Can't chill. I gotta do it if I'm feeling it, right? Otherwise, what's the point of this whole endeavor? So, let's see. I'm gonna get you guys out of my way. Step back. Could get. All right. There's our moon over the valley. Although I'm not in a valley. I feel a little bit of. I need some electric light. Let me see what I got here. It's dark in my bag. Woo wee. It is dark. I need that special. That special. Where's the special? Oh, here it is. All right, this is where I always get crazy now. You know me. I feel like I need some of this. Like right there. It's like... Right. Uh, 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 uh. And like that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, stop. That was good. Step back. Look at what you just did. What did I just do? What did I just do? What did I just do? That's what I just did. Let's see if we can understand that together. Right? That move was incredible. Incredible! How you do that? Well, I wish I knew. Alright, there. That's the area I plan on working on next. I want to give you a good view of the brushwork and the point of departure. That way, perhaps you can understand the beauty of the dance. What am I looking at color-wise? There's not much color in the deep shadows, but you have to find it and you have to make it sing, to harmonize with, with everything around it. I've got that, that green down. I see some blue and some brown, 
some blue and some brown. But what blue? With so many shades of blue. I'm going to get some of this French ultramarine. Squeeze some out. I'm going to mix that with some umber. Nope, that's Van Dyke brown. Oh, look. And there's also some... Uh, some That's a dirty brush right there. But I'm mixing it. going to go ahead and mix it with my... That's blue and brown. Mixing them with whatever's in here. And I'm going to take that shadowy color... And I'm going to paint it down in here, okay? Yay. Yay, get rid of that white. That white's so distracting. Ooh, just get rid of it. Bye-bye. See ya. See ya. sure maybe I should back off of what I'm doing but I might as well just finish it all the way out it's a block of color now we've got a color field a field of color it probably represents some sort of uh, depth of field you know whoops sorry didn't mean to kick you thanks for tuning in everybody we're just enjoying this beautiful night it's a little chilly, so dress accordingly. Go out and take a look at the beautiful sky. I love painting the moon. I don't get to do it often enough. Man, let's see. We are going to do something with this area here now. It's a house in the distance. It's not that far distant, but it's in the dark. More umber. That's what I went with. More umber. Not really cleaning my brush either. <laughs> this is torment to a brush. What I do here. Scrubbing back and forth. Giving it no relief. Just back and forth. Circle, circle, circle. Back and forth. Swish, 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 swish. Scrub, 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 scrub. The bristles get beat up. What happens when you step into my studio? So I don't need them expensive. I need them to be on point. And then... Gone. Though. Well, actually, I keep them around too long, actually. I've got lots of brushes that can see another chapter in their existence. Okay, step back. Let's look at this again. Step back often. Yeah, that's my trick. Looking all right. Looking all right. We can make those look more like houses. That wouldn't hurt a bit. That wouldn't hurt a bit. Want to see what I'm looking at? You see? Wow, isn't that amazing? Well, kind of sort of is. It's amazing that we can share this together right now. This technology... This moment, you, me, the paint, the moon, it's all perfect. Hmm. Oh, I should do something with the foreground. The foreground needs a little, a little excitement, a little something going on there. What are we going to do? What are we going to do special for you? Well, I see some yellow. Uh, Mm. Nah, I'm not going to put it right on there. Not this time. And I see some more yellow, a different shade of yellow this time. And then I'm going to... I'm not even going to touch the... But I am going to put some medium down. I was going to put some green out for the grass, but I'm going to let that green just kind of naturally emerge from the blues. And now that I'm going to add some yellow, some yellow... And there's some titanium white down there, some burnt umber. I'm just gonna let them all have a like a free for all. Just gonna use this medium to get a color. And what is the color I'm looking for? I'm looking for the color of 
winter blades of grass at night illuminated by electric light. That's the color I'm looking for. And we're gonna just kind of brush it in like a dream. Just like a dream. It's just like a dream. And we'll brush that around like somebody just poured a floodlight all over it. We'll find some blades of grass here and there if we look hard enough. But for the most part, it's the light, extra bright and illuminating here at the foreground. And then it kind of fades off into deep shadows, not far from, from the source. So we need some more of our Prussian blue for our dark shadows. Where'd you go, Prussia? Prussia, Prussia. There you go. And then we're going to get some of that Prussian blue. No, I just still haven't cleaned my brush. I'm such a bad, bad boy. Bad, bad boy. I forget to clean my brush. That's all right. Oh, I'm just painting in different shadows here and there, lad. All over the place. Shadows here, shadows over there. There's a shadow over here and a shadow over there. Let's get some highlight over here. You know what I'm saying? Highlight. <laughs> mm -hmm. Take that, my friend. Back up. Take a look at it. Enjoy what you've been able to do so far. Yay. Wow. Looking good, looking good. I'm having fun. Are you having fun? Thanks for watching. Are we gonna go over this way and see what there is to see? Hmm. Good view. Let's see here. Looking at this painting as it's going, as it's emerging from this canvas. Uh, trying to find you a good view too. Bear with me as I set my camera properly all right well if you like what you've been seeing be sure to check out other live streams, other streams, other former broadcasts, broadcasts we did before. You know, you know the thing. We were trying to pick up some blue that fell. Oh, yeah, I got it. Okay, so, uh, dark blue, please. I'll take it. We're going to brush you in over here. This is a house in the dark over here so we're here casting shadows casting shadows like crazy mm-hmm I'm doing this for all of you who have to go to work early tomorrow can't stay up to watch the moon let me do that for you. And you can come back the next day and watch it on on a reboot. Deal. Sounds like a deal to me. Poplar way in the back. Poplars always carve up the sky. They just like a bed of nails.
And then there's a rooftop way in the back over here. Well, rooftop, you know what's up. Where the rooftop ends, that's where the sky begins. So I need to make that nice and clear distinction. And right over here it gets muddled. So I got a clean brush here. I got some white. I got some. Oh, oh maybe it's is that too white. Oh, just let's see what happens. Oh, I don't know about that. I'm bringing that down further than I had anticipated at the beginning, but we'll see what happens. Oh, that's looking good. Nice. Look at that texture there. Good job. Looking good. Pat yourself on the back, folks. It's all right. If you let it hang out and you end up with something that you like, well, well deserved. Well deserved. Good play. There's a more front on view of it. Hey, all right. Well, let's see. That's beautiful. I'm looking at the moon, not my painting. <laughs> so, y'all, oh, look at that. Look at, I got to show you the sky, ladies and gentlemen. Look at the sky. Look what's going on up there? It's like, oh, I wish I could just zoom you in. But Facebook don't like looking straight up like that. They told me to rotate my camera, so I'm taking it back down. Look at the jack down there, where you're supposed to be. All your feet on the ground. There you go. Well, I have to look at my painting from this angle over here, just opposite you, and see. Hmm. Yeah, I should do something with the moon. Yep. I had to do something with that moon. Okay, let's get some white here. Okay, moon. Oh, that's yellow. Oh, that's white. Wait a minute. I'm holding my breath as I'm brushing. I want a better. There's like an, an aurora or, or over the moon, around the moon. I always mess it up. Discipline, discipline, Gerald, discipline. Don't. Oh, uh, this is. Oh, come on. Mm. 
white. I need more white. Hmm. Ooh. That was intense. I don't know about you, but I felt it. Need a little bit more Prussian blue in this thing here. The spots on the moon don't feel, uh, they don't feel right. Hmm, okay. Stepping back again. I feel like I need some... Something here for our eye to... It's like a rooftop. A distant city light. Some trees scratching the skyline, the night sky here. Different variant, different species of tree, not your poplar. And then some backyard fencing going on way back here. still feel like maybe a little red in there maybe something to draw the eye away from all that blue I'm gonna do a lizard crimson a lizard crimson that's not it here we go a lizard crimson and I'm gonna give Alizarin Crimson, a clean brush. Well, clean ish. Straight Alizarin Crimson, mixing it up onto the palette here. We're going to It's like a a crepe myrtle.
Yeah, just gonna pass it off like like I've been here all along. Yeah. Using it to draw the details of the the homes and the rooftops in the background. Create more depth and dimension in this this little world of mine. That's right. Alright, let's see what happens now when I step back. Okay. Well, everybody, thanks for tuning in. I think I'm going to pick up my things and go inside. Had a good time. If you liked what you saw, be sure to click a uh, an alert so that you can be informed the next time I go live. Share it with your friends. And uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's Live Local Artist over on YouTube. Follow me on Instagram. And look for new things. Always coming, always coming at you. Yeah. Yeah. Good night, friends.